Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. So in this episode, uh, in the last episode, rather, I uh, took the castle, or Fort Independence, whatever you want to call it, and I now have been given to settlement missions, quests, that I'm going to start on, and just sort of, you know, widen the settlements that I've got. So that's what this episode primarily is going to be about. Yeah, those those synths look terrifying, don't they? Just uh, like at least try and get rid of the seams between whatever they are, plates or whatever. All right, where am I? Okay, this is a place I liberated at some point. Can't quite remember when I was here last, but that doesn't matter. Um, Alright, that's the closest one. And if memory serves, it's just a bunch of ghouls I'll be fighting. Also, if I remember correctly, somewhere around here is the start of Nuka World. But I think that's a bit further up. That's nowhere near here. Also, I'm wearing full leather now, like full body leather, and uh, I feel like the Kamai character looks a bit better. Just a little bit. More stylish. And resistant to energy weapons. Uh, Alright, I need to clear out the ghouls. Clear out the enemies from this location. What the hell is that? Ooh, hello. Professor Goodfields. Alright. That was overkill. I do like this revolver though. Then you're in the wrong company here, pal. Because we're off to that other farm after this, and I think that's uh, slightly more active than this one. This is just like a search and destroy kind of deal. I'm a badass. I'm going to leave the brain fungus. And check out this house and the next one. But I don't think, really, there's a lot left for me to do, like search. That's it. This will be our finest hour. Tales shall be told of our fight versus the rad roaches. What the hell is that? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. What in the hell? Oh, you can't... Shit myself in. Just let me close that. Like, how does this happen? 
Out of the way, Deacon. We're in a crisis situation here. There's a freaking death claw roaming around out there, and I don't have my power armor on me. So I need to think my way out of this. A freaking death claw, man. Um, yeah, I need to think my way out of this. Somehow. Is he nearby? That death claw. Can I see him? Anywhere? Where did that death claw go? Like, I'm kind of nervous now, but he's in the revolver. Just in case I attract the bloody thing. Time. Oh shit. Boom. Oh wow, my character sucks! Like, how have I m missed every bullet so far? Oh, come on, this looks like a winning shot. Yeah! Now, the problem is, that death claw is nearby. Somewhere. Or not. I'm literally just terrified now there's a death claw near here. Because I haven't got anything to fight a death claw with. Like I got I got guns and ammo and whatnot, but like one hit from that thing and half my health bar's gone. I need rubber. Where do I get rubber from? Um, yeah, screw it. I'll just send someone here. That'll be easier. Alright, what's the next one? Alright, so we got that. Build a recruitment. Yeah, I can't really, can I? Build a recruitment station. Because I need rubber. And as far as I can tell, there is no rubber. Oh, there is. I got rubber. Cool. So, I done this quest here? Talk to Preston Garvey. Okay. I'll do that next. Uh, I'll do that after what I do next, which is go to Green Top Nursery. I think that's the is that the 
No, I can't tell. That might be the ghoul place. I know there's like a farm run primarily by ghouls somewhere. That one might be it. Yeah, I don't mind bringing in a heavy gun, but... Like, like, for me, anyway, for the way I play it, like, weight has always been a problem. Like, how carrying weight and so on. But I think I should put more points into the, str the, the strong back perk. Did that car just fall from the sky? Or did I imagine that? Eh, yeah, doesn't matter. Alright, so this direction. Okay, I just hope now that there's no friggin' death claws. I'm paranoid now. Not as paranoid as I was in uh, Fallout 3, however. Or New Vegas, for that, for that fact. Because those were just ridiculous. Like, you'd go out into the desert for like two minutes and there'd be a, a death claw or a yaogwai. Yaogwai? I think it's called yaogwai. Or a um, giant rad scorpion. Especially in New Vegas. I just pop out pop out of the ground and you'd be like, oh god, really? Come on, come on! Got ya. No way. Ah, it got me. Alright, I'm almost at this place. Yeah, then I'll probably go to Starlight Drive-In. How is Starlight Drive-In doing? Let's check. Uh, Dr. Preston Garvey. Okay, I, I assume he's making his way back home. Uh, back to, like, Sanctuary Hills from Fort Independence. I should probably send him to Fort Independence. Makes more sense for him to be there than anywhere else. Alright, this is not what I was thinking of. I think it's called, like, the mud something. The one I was thinking of. I know now where I am. This is a completely different one to a <laughs> the one I was thinking of. Hi. You've got to help. They've kidnapped my wife. Who kidnapped her? They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Do you know where they took her? I'm pretty sure. I'll mark it on your map. We asked the Minutemen for help, but... I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring her back safe, okay? Backstreet Apparel? Where's that? Ah, oh, it's miles away. I can do that. Maybe. I think I know where this is too, roughly. Ah, uh, one thing is that one of the, like one of the weapon types I do not like in this game are the pipe stuff. I just ah, uh, this look. But I suppose they are meant to be like the bargain basement level of guns in this. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You? You founded the railroad? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of sins. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. Dun dun dun. 
Any perks being close to the big boss? Now that I don't have to hide, sure. Tinker Tom will set you up. But the best perk is seen behind the curtain. People think our missions are all about synths, but there's more going on. We are building a better, brighter commonwealth. The Railroad really is the best, noblest organization that's ever lived. We're... we're... We... <laughs> uh, I can't keep up with this bullshit. Traveling with you is never dull. I aim to please. But I had a point here. A lesson, if you will. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing. What they're asking you to do. What sort of world they'd have you build. And how they're gonna pay for it. So what's the railroad's deal? We're not about saving the world. Too big a job for too few. But we're trying to make it a better one. One synth at a time. And care about the little guys. Maybe lend a hand on the side. Not as much as some would like, but hey. It's something. But the real question is, what do you think of us? And, at the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. Okay. Now that's over, let's carry on. I'm going in the wrong direction. Okay, I need to head towards the door. The door is... There's a bridge somewhere nearby. E. Ah, that's I can't cross this bridge. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can. Cool. Okay. Nice. Uh, probably raiders. I, I guess. I can come back. Time to equip just something, anything that's got to be better than this. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like that gun, but it's not great. This, however, is a powerhouse. I feel like I should probably take this and just throw it away somewhere. Alright, this is where the real fun begins. Where I have to clear out an entire room of raiders. Maybe find the hostage alive? Probably not. That was a good one. You have any more stories like that? How much time you got? What the <coughs> What the hell is that? Alright. Ah cool.
Okay, how do I get in there? Uh, cool. Got it. Please, you've got to help me. Don't worry, I'm here to rescue you. Oh my God! Thank you. Let's go. Okay, time to go. You know, I may think raiders are just as thick as shit, but yeah, you know, those those traps do get me, at least. So you know, they can't be that stupid. Don't get me wrong; they are pretty stupid, just not as stupid as I assume. Uh, right. County Crossing is also available. Don't know why. I uh, can't remember going near it, but yeah. What did it say? I can't fast travel. Aha. Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. There's an advanced combat technology whose development origins have been lost to time. And they did actually, like, uh, I may have mentioned it before, I think I have, but yeah, they didn't sell like a giant uh, version of this, like a real life version of it. You just sort of slip your phone in where the screen is, and then you can sort of wear it as you play. What a world we live in. I don't know how to thank you for that rescue, you are you willing to support the Minutemen now? Sure thing. I'm glad someone's trying to do some good around here for once. You could count on our help if you need it. Cool, I can build here now. Uh, right, I'll build a few defenses. Why not? Yep, I'll do. Uh, you? No, I don't want to send him to anywhere. Uh, I thought it was L1 for supply line. Alright. Nice. And I can connect this up with uh, the castle, possibly. Don't know. Might do. Um, yeah, probably should. I got one person there. <laughs> I don't know how I got one, but I got one person there. Uh, so I go back to the sanctuary and might. I don't know why I still have only got nine people. I should have more than that. I should have a lot more than just nine people. All right, let's uh, go back to Sanctuary and turn in these quests. Ah, uh, yes, the Assaultron. I slammed down the... Should I do the robot DLC? I can't remember what it's called now. Automatron? Automaton? Automatron. Because I know that you can build your own robot companion from that one, can't you? Hmm. That does come in handy because I usually just build an assaultron, and they 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 can take up more or less anything. Hey, look at that! He's dressed like a Minuteman. He knows how to blend in. Master of disguise that he is. Uh, it was uh, was Preston. Cleared out that spot you sent me to, and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not too bad, 130. 
I rescued that kidnapped settler. We've got another settlement on our side now. Good. Another win for the Minutemen. Keep it up, and pretty soon we'll have the whole Commonwealth behind us. If you've got time, something else has come up. Of course it has. Find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Alright, what's new? Takes a while for the next quest to load up. Map updated. Warwick Homestead. Green skins. So, super mutants, I think. Are they green in this? They're sort of like greenish yellow, aren't they? Because I know in uh, Fallout New Vegas they are blue, I believe. Majority of them are. That's only because uh, it's a reference to the older Fallout games. I think it's like Fallout 1. Because in New Vegas, the super mutants are called Nightkin. Uh, which are like remnants of the Master's army from Fallout 1. That's right, I know my Fallout lore pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind it if they, uh, built, if they made, like, a new game, like, a new Fallout game, uh, the guys who made New Vegas, because I quite like New Vegas for all the random little, uh, references and whatnot to the the original Fallout games. That, and I, th I feel like it had a better story, um, compared to Fallout 3, and arguably this one, I guess, but I do like the world in this one, like, the area and the factions and whatnot I do like. I feel like um, Fallout 3 was just uh, lacking in that department. Like, the world was nice, but it didn't have any, many factions. There was, like, what, from memory, like, you had the people living in the boat, the aircraft carrier, you had the Brother of Steel, and then you had the Enclave. It just felt like a sort of treading, sort of familiar ground from Fallout 2. And, like, Fallout 1, I guess, sort of. Um, but yeah, New Vegas felt like a, like it's sort of like its own game, and this one does the same. Feels like its own game. And then they, then they released Fallout seventy six. So it's like well, it's like what six steps forward, ten back. Oh, that's miles away. Ah, I suppose I guess it's not too bad. All right, I got most of these settlements now, just uh, linked up to one another. So that's good. What uh, other than this bot? All oh, right, I was thinking. I was like looking at quite all those requests. I was like, what? Vault Tech calling. Jackpot ruined skyscraper. There. Uh, special delivery. I might do that one. I don't know. Long time coming. Mechanical menace. The glowing sea. Quarter mastery. Far from home. Most some of these are DLC quests. Uh, I might do Randolph Safe House 2 in the next episode. Go back and do some work for the railroad. Because I'm curious if the railroad, if there's like a point like I've reached with the Brotherhood, where they're just like, go find the Institute, and we have got no more quests for you to do, just go find the Institute, you know, shoo. I'm curious to see if I get to that point with the railroad or not, or if they just keep plowing out fucking quests for me to do. I'm not, if, if that's the case, I'm just going to stop and do something else. Like, I still got... I want to do that special delivery quest. Because that's a pretty fun one. Anyway. Yeah, so I'll be doing that in the next... Uh, in the next episode. Uh, until then, though. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, if you could leave a like. Hit that comment section below. And maybe, just maybe, hit that subscribe button. Uh, do any one, any two, or all three. And uh, either way, it'll be very greatly appreciated. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, I'm not 100% sure how I'm releasing these. I might be releasing two a day, because they are pretty short, like, uh, episodes, compared to what I was doing, uh, like, you know, like a year ago, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I might, be, I might be releasing two a day. But regardless, that's all for now. So, until next time, you take care.